and I have continuously sounded the warning that if we continue as we are, all political parties will indeed be captured, <coughs> will be taken over by the construction that I have pointed out. And as you know, as we speak, you know, in fact, Mr. Museven himself was bragging way back that there will be no opposition political parties by 2021. Everybody is familiar with that assertion by Mr. Museven. No political parties by 2021. So we must congratulate ourselves that we are still at least here talking about FDC and, uh, and, and, and struggling because we are not meant to be. And even within parties, actually, the commercialization has been infused there. Even for internal party processes, you find a lot of money be exchanging hands. Whenever we have had delegates' conferences here, one time I wanted to raise it. Uh, in our own elections of FDC, one time I wanted to raise the role or, uh, or the, the source of money that was coming into our elections. I think that was the election of 20... Of 20 17. No. I think that was the election of 2010, internal election of 2010. I wanted to raise this question. I was only convinced, well, not maybe convinced, but even maybe coerced by my colleague, uh, the, the Honorable Augustine Ruzindana. He's the one who said, no, 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 this will create a, a bad uh, thing in the public. I, it will, it will undermine the, our brand. Don't talk about it. So I kept quiet. But large sums of money have been coming into our party. At every election, internal, external, the large sums come. Uh, you find people, are, our own delegates who come from up country, they are accommodated in hotels. Not by the party, but by candidates. <laughs> Accommodated in hotels, given money, and so on. Once you take that path, you know you are on the path of death as an organization and capture. <laughs> and we have been traveling along that path for some time uh, now. And uh, we've warned. So, FDC, just like the other parties, I believe has failed to adopt itself to the state capture that we face. And regardless of who is leading it, if you fail to adopt, you will get the consequences that I am talking about. So, I'm sure some of you have heard that I am being uh, accused or condemned for failure to help in raising money for the 2021 elections. He said, you know, because I was a candidate before, I got some money for my own campaigns but failed to get money for the campaign of, uh, of Honorable Amuliat. That has been one of the issues raised. And uh, maybe then I am now turning to my own role. The second point I said I will address, my role in the controversy. So first of all, since FDC was formed, I was its candidate in all the elections. 201, two, no, 201 FDC was not there, so I was an independent. 206, that was shortly after FDC was formed, I was its candidate. 211, I was its candidate. 
216, I, I was its candidate. And as I have told you, I didn't even want to become a candidate in 2016 because of what I had discovered in 2011. But that's a story for another day. So after 2016, I became firmly clear that I will not be a candidate under any circumstances in 2021. I became, it was very, very clear to me that it would be a misuse. I would be misusing myself to be a candidate in 2021. So in 2018, I called a meeting of all my colleagues that took place in Namugongo at a place called Choto. There is a Choto Catholic, it's a Catholic institution. We held a meeting there and I informed them. I invited that meeting for the sole purpose of informing them that I would not be a candidate in 2021. That and nobody, because in 20, 2016 I had come under huge pressure by our colleagues to, to come in again. So to avoid that, well in advance, in 2018, I informed all our party leaders I will not be available. They had better start a process of getting somebody to contest in 2021 and of course many of them were saying no 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 you should stay but i was completely unequivocal in the uh, position that was taken regrettably no process went underway in the party to, for another candidate to emerge so when 21 was knocking, they again converged on me <laughs> to say, now, really, you have to be the candidate. And I said, but are you people serious? You know, you know all these years that I am not going to be a candidate. It's nonetheless pressure kept on and kept on. So we literally got to the election without a candidate. The Honorable Bamriat was the last minute, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, compromise that you now just go. You are the party leader after all. You, that's what party leadership entails. But there was no candidate. 